Hi, my name is Chilton Tippin, and I work for a company called High Desert Native Plants that's based in El Paso, Texas, in West Texas. And this in my hand is a glass of potable, drinkable rainwater that was collected and harvested off of that roof. And in this video, I'm gonna show you all of the components of a rainwater harvesting system that you can actually use to harvest water off of your roof and use to drink inside of your house. When designing a rainwater harvesting system, the place you wanna start is the top of the watershed. Uh, in the case of a house like this one, that is going to mean the roof of the house. And so we measured the roof of this house and the surface area is about 3,200 square feet. Here where we are in Cloudcroft, New Mexico, we get about 31 inches of rain a year. And so when we calculated that out, we can get about 30, or I'm sorry, about 60,000 gallons of rainwater harvested off our roof every single year. And we use that calculation to determine the size of the storage tank or the storage bag in this case, uh, which we're gonna show you now. So before we get to our tanks, I wanted to show you really quickly our guttering system. So we have gutters that are running the length of our house in the front and in the back. And these feed into a downspout. And if you'll come a little closer, you can see that the downspout washes through and first hits this uh, leaf filter. And what the leaf filter does is it catches all this, this junk and any crud that's on the leaves. And it essentially just doesn't let it filter through. And then from there, all that stuff is caught there and cleaner water can run into the pipes, which then are passing underneath our porch here. And these will go over to the tank. Uh, one easy modification we made is this cover that goes over the leaf filter and it just sort of slides on and off like that and we can use it to actually regulate the amount of water that is going into our system. So we just cover all of them up when we don't want water in and take them all off when we want water to go in. So we're now going to go into the under the house storage area which is where we have our tanks and some of the other components of our system. So come along. So all of the water that is collected in a rain event on the roof comes through those pipes that we saw outside and enters underneath the house through this pipe here. And this pipe runs in the direction of the rainwater harvesting bag, which you can see behind me here. And we'll now explain that part of the system. So this bag that I'm sitting on here is filled with water that has come off of our roof during rainstorms. And it holds about 15,000 gallons. Currently there's about 4,000 gallons in it. Usually these bags are used to defend houses during hurricanes, um, but we've repurposed it as a rainwater harvesting storage tank, essentially. So this device right here is known as a first flush device, and it's a really important component for keeping the water that goes into your bag very clean. Essentially what happens is the water, as it comes down this pipe, skips over the intake of the bag because this is lower elevation, and it flows past, comes behind me in this tank, and it starts filling this up, filling this up. And that is all the dirty water that is washed off your roof uh, during the first burst of a rainfall event. As this thing fills up, it charges this pipe through here and backs, and the water starts backing up all the way to this point. And then at that point, the clean water starts diverting into your storage tank. So the key to making your rainwater first flush device effective is that after every single rain, you have to open it up let all of that dirty water run out of the system, and then you come back and you close it back up. And that way, when the next rain comes, the dirty water washes in here and it repeats the process with clean water again. The next important part of your rainwater harvesting system is a pump. And this is going to be very important if you wanna use your, your rainwater inside of your house because you need good pressure. So this pump is connected to an intake that is actually inside of the rainwater harvesting tank. And when it fires up, it sucks water out of the tank and through these pipes. And it brings them through here, brings the rainwater through here and diverts it at this point. This side goes to our front yard so that we can use it to water the elk tank or the front yard or anything that we need in the front. And this way goes and actually connects to the house for indoor use. One of the cool things about that pump that I showed you down in the basement is that we get enough pressure to use the rainwater throughout our house. We use it for our toilets, our sinks, our dishwashers, our washing machines. And just to give you an idea of how good the pressure is, 
I'll show you what the shower is like. So the last component of your rainwater harvesting system, and the one that's actually gonna make your rainwater potable is an under the sink filter. The one that we have is uh, designed by a company called iSpring Water Systems. And it essentially is a four stage filter and it passes the water through an advanced sediments filter, a membrane, and then two types of activated charcoal before taking it up to the sink where we have our tap here. And so this right here is rainwater that is now potable. And there you have it. There's your entire system, starting from your roof, going all the way to your tap.